Did you know there's a species of ant that can explode? These are Campanotus saundersi ants, and they're known for their incredibly aggressive behavior. If a large enough intruder enters their territory, these ants will actually blow themselves up to defend their colony. As a last resort, these ants release a toxic goo from their abdomens and then bite down on their own exoskeletons, effectively decapitating themselves. The severed head then releases a pheromone that alerts the rest of the colony to attack. This all may seem like a bit much for a simple ant, but there's actually a reason behind this behavior. See, these ants live in areas with a lot of other ant species, including some that are much larger than them, so they've evolved to be extremely defensive. If a big enough threat shows up, like a bird or a lizard, they need to protect their colony at all costs. And what better way to do that than to sacrifice themselves? It's not entirely clear why they choose to explode rather than, say, just biting the intruder. But one theory is that it's more effective. When you get right down to it, these ants are tiny. They're only about two to three millimeters long. So when they bite, it doesn't hurt that bad. But when they explode, well, that's a lot harder to shake off. Researchers believe that the toxic goo is also a form of chemical warfare. It's not only a way to stop an intruder in its tracks, but it also helps to mark the intruder so the rest of the colony knows to attack it. The gooey substance is made up of a variety of chemicals, including formic acid, which is a common defense chemical used by many ants. But the Campanotus saundersi ants also have unique compounds that help to identify the intruder and recruit the rest of the colony. Once the intruder has been marked, the ants move in for the kill. They swarm over the intruder, biting and stinging until it dies. Then they take the fight to the next level. The exploding ants engage in what's known as a death dance. They repeatedly ram their heads into the intruder, decapitating it. This may seem like overkill, but it's necessary to ensure that the intruder is completely neutralized. So the next time you see an ant, remember, it may not be as small and insignificant as you think. They may be tiny, but they're fierce. This has been your host. Thanks for watching and see you next time.